How did your friend destroy the friendship? He was going through a bad time with the woman he was living with and they split up. I offered to take him on a small sports holiday. He accepted but he was struggling for money. So I paid for him to have a place to stay. Lift passes. Food etc. Basically everything was paid for and all he had to do was get there. I get a call a few weeks before we're going and he says he can't make it. Too much work because his workers had let him down. He ran a building and home improvement business, etc by etc. I say okay. I go away on holiday and whilst I'm away he puts pictures of himself snowboarding in Bulgaria. With his workers, the ones who apparently had let him down, saying. Snowboarding with my mates. Comma. Another lovely day up the mountain. Etc. He'd rather go with his workers than the person who met him at 12 years old. Who protected him at school and beyond? Who lent him money? Who was his best man at his wedding? Who picked up his stuff when they divorced? Who knew him for over three decades? ETC 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 etc. That was the moment I stopped caring for him and refused to speak to him since. On her 21st birthday I went out with her. Me and one other were the only people who showed up. She was my best friend for 8 years. She rented the duplex next to me when we moved to a new city together. I got too drunk during the bar crawl. I went to the bathroom to throw up. I come back to the bar and she's gone. The two guys she was speaking to were gone as well. She took my jacket which had my house keys and my wallet. Hailed down a cab. Promise the driver I'll pay him when I get my wallet at home. Get home. She's refusing to answer the door. Won't answer her phone. I call this guy I just started seeing and give an explanation. He offers to have the cab driver take me there. $40 cab fare that he paid. And I had work in 5 hours. He drives me home in the morning and my friend pretends like nothing happened. I realized then our entire friendship was always revolved around her and I couldn't remember a time she was there for me. But always me being there for her. But since then I've never had a friend to talk to every day like I did with her. My life is much more lonely. It's weird. Edit what the. I had no idea this would get this kind of attention. I've never had gold before. And receiving one for sharing a bad experience is super comforting. This community is amazing and being able to share this and have so many different responses from so many people is really special. Thank you for the gold and thanks for everyone who replied with their own stories and situations. I hope everyone can find friendships that are both mutual and respectful. And move on from the harmful ones. Constantly trying to bang any of my girlfriends I brought around him. He always blamed the booze. I blamed his lack of integrity. Huge scars were left on our friendship and we rarely see each other these days. Good friend and I work at the same place. I buy the business. Now friend works for me. Friend falls hard for co-worker. She rebuffs him. He starts stalking her and threatens to commit suicide. Hot mess. Have to let him go. She turned all our female friends against me at university because she liked our mutual male friend and she thought he liked me instead of her. He wasn't into her. But it wasn't because he liked me it was because he was gay. So I lost most of my friends at university in the last year because my moron of a BFF couldn't figure out our other good friend was gay. He literally would say how didn't like the idea of sx with women and told us how he often sleeps in the same bed with other men. Decided he was too good for the rest of us. And only gave us the time of day when he needed something. Unfortunately. Because dude is exceptionally charismatic. Half of the group sided with him when the other half basically told him to screw off. So. He actually destroyed multiple friendships and still uses the half that stuck with him. Really sad to see. Actually. She was having a bad day and decided to tell me what she really thought of me because frick it. I guess. Okay then. Good to know. I won't waste any more of either of our lives then. Well I guess she probably didn't really consider me her friend. But I thought of her as mine. 
Overheard her talking to another friend about how much she couldn't stand me when I was in the booth listening to people's mics to make sure they were working before opening night of the musical. That was pretty crushing. I haven't confronted her about it but I just try to avoid her now. Not really my friend but my wife's best friend for 10 plus years. I met this guy at work and we had been getting along pretty well for about a year so I decided to invite him and his family over for dinner. As soon as he gets there my wife recognizes him and greets him by name. Turns out he is an ex-boyfriend of my wife's bestie from more than 5 years ago. Ro. Small world. Right? So we have a nice little dinner. Drink some beers. Our kids play and then they go home. The next day my wife's friend comes to visit and I casually mention that he had come over. I honestly forgot they had ever dated. But this girl just totally loses her shti and starts crying and screaming at my wife. Comma. How could you do this I thought we were friends. I can't be around you anymore. You betrayed me. So she leaves and gets on Facebook talking all kinds of shti about my wife being a SLT and how our marriage is doomed to fail because she is so selfish. They haven't talked since and this was about a month ago. My wife is still upset about it and will cry if she has too much to drink. I feel really bad for bringing it up in front of her but how the hell was I supposed to know she would react like that? I was 18 and I got drunk at her house because I thought it was a safe place to do so. She was 20 and her BF was 21 and he bought the booze with our money. Her dad was cool with it and he said. As long as you are being safe and not driving home. Kids will be kids. Just be safe. So me and her and her BF. Two other female friends. And her dad drank together. I was the youngest and the drunkest. I ended up vomiting all over their bathroom. And passing out on their futon. At about 3am her BF snuck out of her room and R ped me in the living room. Literally right outside her bedroom. I was too drunk passed out to fight back. And I barely remember. But I remembered enough to wake up in the morning. Crawl into her room. And timidly accuse him in front of her. She believed him. Friendship ruined. About 2 years later. He admitted to it and they split up and she still hasn't spoken to me. Went for my girlfriend right after we broke up. They're married now. I tried to reconcile even. They wouldn't have it. Moved away and blocked me on everything. Now we're not friends I guess. Cheated on his amazing girlfriend with the girl he knew I had a crush on. Rubbed it in my face after the fact too. That friendship lasted way too long. He kept inviting my ex to every event we would go to. Dot. In his defense though. It was his twin sister. He went out with my female best friend. Cheated and hurt her. Then proceeded to go out with my crush. Cheated and hurt her. Freaking hell. She started screaming. Over text. Out of nowhere about how I never make an effort to see her and how I'm too busy seeing other people to care about hanging out with her. She lives over an hour away. And since I don't drive it's expensive to get to her. And she always wanted to do things last minute anyway. She also started making wild accusations and had nothing to back up her claims with. And then she started bringing my deceased mother into the mix. That was the last straw. She never wanted to talk things over like a rational adult. And I don't have time for high school drama in my mid 20s. So I walked away. If she wants to come back and discuss things maturely. I'm here. But if not then I'm over it. My husband had a friend who was chronically late. We were all planning a dinner and a movie and said we're leaving at 7. No matter what. 7. 15 came around. Trying to give him a chance. And we left. He showed up at 8 and we were gone. In the theater. Not answering phone. We get out of and we all have dozens of missed calls. We try calling him and he won't answer. Oh well. Next early morning. My husband's phone is blowing up with texts and calls and voicemails from this guy. Comma. Please don't read that email. Comma. Just delete it. Comma. I'm sorry. Comma. Call me. I need to talk to you. What not. Knowing this can't be good. 
he decided not to entertain the idea of giving this guy another chance and logs into his email. He had written a short message about how shtty of a person he is. Mind you. This guy is pretty much on the bottom of the totem of friends. He's pretty much an acquaintance. Just a brother of another friend who invited him once and he never left. He's not sure why out of everyone he chose him to rip apart. Comma the final straw. My husband's dad died when he was two. He wrote. Comma. You're a B-starred. At least my dad is still alive. You'll never know what it's like to have a dad in your life. I'm reading over his shoulder and I'm about to go hunt this guy guy down. I'm irate. He goes. Comma. Ha. He slowly closes his laptop. He calmly said. Comma. Well. I won't be seeing him anymore. He tired calling him a bunch of more times. But I'm sure he knew he already read it. He screwed up and stopped. Never saw him again. Sean knows. Actually he probably doesn't and that's the issue. We had been friends for two decades and I finally realized he wasn't a very good friend. He's more of a narcissistic asshole that prefers friends as long as they center their actions around him. Well frick that. We had some good times brother. But I'm not your BTCH. It was 6th grade and I was kinda realizing that I wasn't straight but that I also wasn't gay. I told her that I had a crush on this older girl in 8th grade. I trusted her as my best friend to keep her mouth shut and not to judge me for anything. Instead she told everyone including my parents and the girl that I was a lesbian and then told me she couldn't be my friend because I would uh pay her. I, I made the decision to move out of state and they flipped out on me won't even talk to me now. All because I moved. Best friend of 8 years. I moved about 6 hours away from home to go to college and every time she'd come to visit me. She would make the trip and crash somewhere else. Just coming to party. Wouldn't make any effort to see me. On my 21st she actually surprised me, which was like the nicest thing she's ever done, by coming down but brought her pose boyfriend. We made plans to go out that night so I told my new boyfriend and housemates that I was going out with my best friend and to leave without me while I waited for her. After getting ready for 2 hours. Making us apps and seek tales. I tried to get a hold of her for like 5 hours. Nothing. Turns out she decided to lay in bed with her bf at someone else's house. Never said sorry or talked about it again. Spent my 21st alone. Too embarrassed to tell my other friends bf that my best friend ditched me. I spent two years publicly fending off a stalker. And became very touchy about privacy and paranoid about being safe and alone in my home. My friend. Who I hadn't seen in nearly a decade despite several invitations to visit. Announces on Facebook that she's going to be vacationing at my house. News to me. I quietly let her know that no. She wouldn't. So much for that lifelong friendship. Borrowing my car. Then crashing my car killing my ex and three other people on the freeway then running from the scene of the crime. Me finding this out when cops showed up at my house arresting me telling me I was the driver. Only to find out three hours later I was nowhere near the car for the last week. I was upset because my other best friend was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer in her early 30s. Comma. I don't give a shit about your friend with cancer. Says my best friend of 15 years. That was the last time I talked to her. But I still miss her every day. She punched me in the boob. We were inseparable BFF soulmates and I loved her. I even joined choir so we could hang out an extra period. Well. She started treating me like garbage in front of her rude choir friends. And threatened one day as a joke in front of them that she punched me in the boob. I told her if she did it. I'd walk away and never speak to her again because I didn't like how she was treating me. That's the only time I have ever followed through on a threat so serious. Sure enough. She did it and we didn't talk for 3 years. Even then. It was just a nasty message from her about how stupid I was. I'm still a little sad about it. 10 years later. But it was a good choice on my part. 
A good friend from high school came back into my life via Facebook a few years ago. We reconnected and became inseparable. Watching movies and playing video games every weekend. Our kids became close friends as well. One night I was watching TV with my wife of 20 years and he, my ex-friend, started texting my wife. He said he had a problem and needed her help with. She met with him and he confessed he loved her and watched her all the time. He had several candid pics on his phone of her, mostly from behind, he showed her to prove his love. He said he'd take better care of her than I did. She was disgusted and left to tell me immediately. I called him to discuss it but he wouldn't answer. It's been 3 years and he hasn't contacted our family. Lifelong friendship ruined. When he told me he was into child pornography. This was a 23 year old man that would lure young girls, age 10-14, on the internet into sending him naked pictures by pretending he was a young girl and wanting to compare bodies. He told me he would then blackmail them with the pictures so they would send more. And he thinks some of them might have even killed themselves. He had over a thousand of these pictures on his phone. Yeah. I told the authorities. And last I heard. They took him in. But I don't know if they found anything or what happened with him. But I haven't been in contact with him for a long time. She appropriated my personality to the point where I heard her expressing some of my most unique and totally weird, because. Hey. Sometimes I am weird, opinions and thoughts as her own. Then she stole one of my chess. And slashed my tire. Okay. Bye bye then. Best friend through teenage years into late 20s. Roommates. We were both best man at each other's wedding and then business partners. He stole a ton of money from the business and stopped paying our bills. He was using our money to fund drug dealers car rentals each week. My guess is that he was getting free drugs out of it. He also used company money to fund his eye entire wedding which was an absolute nightmare. He didn't used to be like that but meeting and marrying that woman changed him. Now he's 32. Moved back home live with his family. Divorced and miserable. I can't tell you how much I hate that man. She's one of those. I'm not like other girls. Said she hates drama but will always gossip about her friends and talk badly about them behind their back, including myself I'm sure. Will enter relationships with guys and then complain they aren't up to her standards example. Comma. I'm a good person. I deserve better and not be treated this way. She said this after an ex couldn't get to her place to take care of her when she was sick. Runs through relationships with her friends like clockwork. She hasn't done one thing per se but a lot of things and I'm just tired of it all. When I realized how shtty why she was to me. Always bringing me down and making everything about herself. I was already at a very low point in my life contemplating suicide and disappearing. When I confided in her she brushed it off and didn't talk to me. I didn't need an answer from her or for her to cure my depression I just needed a friend and she wasn't there for me like I was for her and that hurt the most. That day was the beginning of the end for us it just took 2 more years for me to grow the courage to walk away from that relationship. Literally shot me in the back of the head. We were hunting this past season and a bird flew overhead while he was sitting behind me in the canoe. Not sure how he thought this would be a good idea but he sent two shots whirling over my head and a piece of bird shot caught me in the back of the head. When I regained my hearing and yelled at him. He got mad at me for telling him what to do. Needless to say we haven't spoken since then. Constantly criticizing everything I did. As well as making fun of every mistake I made around him. It got to the point where the meme in the friend group was that I was wrong about anything. And everything. He tried reconnecting with me a year or so after I stopped talking to him. Told him to eat a DCK. This gal and I had been friends for a long time. Almost 10 years by this time. I suppose. Pretty much best friends. After some time. Lots of bad relationships. Knowing each other well. Being there for one another. We finally started getting emotionally closer. You know. The cliche movie shti we like to want to happen. She tells me she loves me. We say we wish we'd done this sooner. 
We make out and are intimate. But don't seal the deal with intercourse. A couple days later she gets really awkward and ducks out on me. Begins avoiding me. Avoiding texts. Etc. For about 3 weeks. Which really freaking hurt me. Like. WTF happened? You just told me you love me. After that time she says it was a mistake and it should never have happened. Turns out she went on a date with someone on OCupid about the same time we got emotionally involved and started banging them. And was more invested in the already having a sex. I found this part out from a third party. Feels bad bro. Well here's the kicker. After the grace period of her feeling bad and avoiding me. And then telling me she thinks it was a mistake. She then assumes we can go right back to being best friends. Whoa. Whoa whoa. Hold the freaking boats. You're my best friend. And you basically professed your hidden love for me. We're intimate on a deep. Emotional level. And then you went and fricked someone else and blew me off as if it never happened. Then you expect us to be best friends again like nothing ever happened? What kind of person hurts their best friend like that? Frick off. Kimberly blamed me for talking in the hall on the way back from lunch in 5th grade even though it was actually she and Chelsea. I got. Time on the fence. At recess as punishment. It's been 16 years. But I still remember. Thanks a lot. Kimberly. He had feelings for this girl who we were both friends with. I told him it probably wasn't the best idea. But he really pursued it. All in. Unfortunately the timing was just off, it was the summer so we were home from school and they were only talking over text and snapchat. But they were talking non-stop. One day. Though. She pretty much stopped talking to him. Found out later that she was into him originally. But by that point she wasn't anymore and figured the best way to handle that was to cut off communications. He didn't appreciate that and said that I shouldn't hang out with her or any of her friends who also are some of my friends, anymore because they're all clearly terrible people. I disagreed with that vehemently. Sure. Some things were handled poorly and maybe that girl made you feel shtty. But she's still my friend. So my friend and I fought about this for months. Never able to agree to disagree or hang out around the same people. Eventually it just became too toxic to the point where I felt uncomfortable around all of my friends. One day he and I had that one last argument. That point of no return. Where he told me not to talk to him anymore. Done deal. I've talked to him only once or twice since then. I've been hanging out around these other friends for a while now and I love them. It may have been a tough decision to break things off in the moment. But looking back and thinking about where I am now and how much happier and loved I am it was the right decision. PLDR. Friend and I disagreed about whether or not to still call someone else a friend. People telling me who my friends can be should not be my friends. Told me extensive details on her sx life. Harassed me to talk to her every second I was home and then. Upon me asking for some space as I had work to do and was going through scary medical stuff. Threw a fit and insisted that I never listened to her and only ever talked about myself. Never talk to that selfish BTCH again. Hope you never managed to convince that poor boy to let you blow him. Because of twat. My former friend group hates my current so. She didn't mind me hanging out with them because they were still my friends and she's not the kind of person to tell me who I can and can't be friends with. They. On the other hand. Kept telling me that I could do better and questioning why I was even with her. It all came to a head when they gave me an ultimatum of us or her. I was very direct and told them her. I told them she would never put me in this position and they are not really friends if they think they can manipulate me like that. Haven't spoken to them since and am happy with my current so.